Nisha. How are you? Today we are going to learn about plants. A plant is a living thing that grows in the earth. Plants can grow on land and in water. Plants give us food, clothes, medicines, wood and rubber. Green plants make their own food in the presence of sunlight, air and water. Plants also clean the air. Rose, jasmine, mango. Some plants grow in water. Example, water lily, lotus. Some plants grow in deserts. Example, cactus, acacia. Some plants grow in hills and mountains. Example, pine, fir. Some plants grow near the sea. Example, coconut tree. Some plants grow in warm areas. Example, mango, maize. Types of plants. Do you know how many types of plants, friends? Plants are five types. Herbs, shrubs, trees, climbers, creepers. Now, let us know about herbs. Plants with green and tender stem are called herbs. They are usually short and may not have many branches. Example, coriander, mint, grass. Next, shrubs. Some plants have the stem branching out near the base. The stem is hard but not very thick or called shrubs. Example, rose plant, hibiscus plant, cotton plant. Next, trees. Some plants are very tall and have hard and thick woody stem. The stems have branches in the upper part much above the ground. Such plants are called trees. Example, coconut tree, mango tree. Next, climbers. Some plants have weak stems. They take the support of other trees, walls and grow against them. These plants are called climbers. Example, grapevine beans. Next, creepers. Some plants with weak stems grow along the ground. These plants are called Creepers. Example, watermelon, bottle guard, pumpkin. Parts of plants. Every plant has two types of system. Root system, shoot system. Root system consists of roots and root hair. Shoot system consists of stems, leaves, flowers and fruits. Each part of the plant plays an important role. Let us know about the functions of various parts of a plant. Functions of roots. Roots of most plants grow under the soil. The main function of the root is to fix the plants in the soil. It also absorbs water and minerals from the soil and sends them to the leaves through the stem. Functions of stems. The stem of a plant bears branches, leaves, flowers and fruits. It transports water and nutrients absorbed by the roots to the leaves. It also transports food prepared by the leaves to other parts of the plant. Functions of leaves. Leaves are called the kitchen of the plant as the food is prepared here. Leaves contain a green pigment called chlorophyll. Plants use chlorophyll, carbon dioxide, water and sunlight to prepare their food. Functions of flowers. Flowers help in reproduction. They produce seeds which form new plants. Many flowers are brightly colored. Some flowers give out a pleasant scent. Functions of fruits 
fruit is a part of the plant that protects the seeds seeds again gives rise to new plants edible parts of plants edible means something that we can eat plants gives us many edible things in different forms plants gives us food to eat we eat different parts of different plants we eat leaves of some plants such as spinach and lettuce we eat stems of some plants such as sugarcane and lotus stem we eat roots of some plants such as turnip ginger carrot and radish we eat the flowers of some plants such as cauliflower and broccoli we eat fruits of some plants such as tomato and brinjal we eat the seeds of some plants such as wheat rice gram and rajma uses of plants plants are very useful for us we get many things from plants we get food to eat from plants we get tea and coffee from plants some plants such as ginger tulsi neem garlic and aloe vera are used for making medicines plants give us cotton and jute which are used to make clothes we get wood from trees like teak and shisham to make furniture we get rubber from a rubber tree to make tires for vehicles we should plant more trees to get rain and to keep the air fresh and clean we should take care of plants plant tree save the earth 